Okay, now we're going to join the tail from where we started and where we finished so that we have a complete loop and it looks virtually seamless. Um, this is the tail from where we had started that I left and now I've pinned up near to that point and this is what I have left over. So what I'm going to do now is I lay the one that I'm the ending strip on top of the beginning strip and I mark. I just make a mark on the top right at the edge of where that point ends and then I flip it up and I make a mark right at the edge of where the other, the bottom point ends. So that whenever I open these up, this is where, can you see, I'm not sure you're able to see that, but um, that's exactly where they touch right now. No seam allowance added. And since I can't go back and add a quarter inch seam allowance to this one, and I need a quarter inch seam allowance on this one, I'm going to simply add a half inch to this one, and that will compensate for the seam allowance on both strips. So I mark a quarter inch over. The first line is exactly where they touch. The second line is the half inch added. And then I'm going to lay my ruler with the 45 degree line on the very top of the strip and one edge right there on where I cut uh, marked and then the other edge on the bottom mark and I'm going to cut and that gives me the seam allowance that I need for these pieces to join and fit perfectly. So then I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew this edge And then I will come back and I will just add a still shot to the, um, to the blog post. I'm going to sew that seam allowance just like I did the others. And then this will be a perfect fit whenever I open it back up.